Question 16 says, an electric dipole of dipole moment P is aligned parallel to a uniform electric field E. The work done by an external agent to rotate the dipole slowly by 90 degree from stable equilibrium position is. Dear students, the work done in such cases is equal to change in potential energy which is equal to P E cos theta 1 minus cos theta 2 where theta 1 and theta 2 are initial and the final angles made by the dipole with the electric field. Now, dear students, in the first case, it is in stable equilibrium, which means that the theta i is equal to 0. This means that the work done will be equal to P e multiplied by cos 0 minus cos 90 degree, which will be equal to P e and hence option number 1 is the correct answer. Now, let us proceed to the question number 17. The question says that 8 capacitors, each of capacitance 2 microfarad are connected as shown in the figure. The effective capacitance between points A and B is. Dear students, we can rearrange this particular circuit by removing the short circuited capacitors. For example, this capacitor is short circuited, this capacitor is short circuited as well. And all the other capacitors are in parallel, which means that this, 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 this and this. Total of 6 capacitors are in parallel. The total capacitance therefore would be 6 times the capacitance of individual capacitor which is 2 microfarads. So, this will be equal to 12 microfarads and hence option number 2 is the correct answer. Now, let us proceed to the question number 18. Question number 18 says, 5 capacitors each of capacitance C and breakdown voltage V are connected as shown in the figure. The capacitance and the breakdown voltage of the combination that is applied across AB will be. Dear students, it is given that a capacitor has a breakdown voltage V. So, we have to find out the voltage such that none of the capacitors breaks. Dear students, the net capacitance across AB is equal to because these two capacitances are in parallel which is in series with this and it is in parallel with this capacitance which are individually in series. We can write down the net capacitance to be equal to C into 2C by C plus 2C that is the capacitance of this particular total arm plus C into C by C plus C that is the capacitance of the lower arm. This will be equal to 7C by 6 which means that the net capacitance is 7C by 6. Now, dear students, the breakdown voltage for this circuit using the voltage divider rule would be equal to 3V by 2, which means option number 3 is the correct answer. Now, let us proceed to the question number 19. Question number 19 says, for the arrangement shown in the figure, the charge on the 4 microfarad capacitor is. Dear students, since these two points are earthed or grounded, the potential of these two points is 0. As we move from this point to this point, the potential difference would be as per the AMF of the batteries, that is 15 volts. And as we move from this point to this point through this path, the potential difference would be 15 volt again. We can easily see that the potential difference across the 4 microfarad capacitance is equal to 0, which means that the charge on the 4 microfarad capacitor would be 0 as well. And option number 4 of this question is the correct answer. Now, let us solve the question number 20. Question 20 says a conducting slab of thickness d by 2 is inserted between the plates of a parallel plate capacitor as shown in the figure. The energy stored in the capacitor when the terminals of the capacitor are connected across a battery of EMF 2V is. Dear students, in this case the capacitance is equal to epsilon naught A by d minus d by 2 plus d by 2 by infinity. Infinity is the dielectric constant of the conductor. So, this will be equal to 2 epsilon naught A by D. Now, dear students, the energy stored would be equal to half C into 2V square and this will be equal to 4 epsilon naught A by D V square, which means option number 4 is the correct answer. Now, let us solve the question number 21. 